What is going on, people of the internet? My name, of course, is Panther, and welcome your faces to the top 10 locations in Call of Duty Blackout. Now, this is more gonna be like the top 10 locations I wanna see. Everyone else has their own personal opinion. I personally just wanna see these maps in Blackout. I'm super excited. Blackout's definitely gonna be the mode that I am playing the most. Everyone, I think, is really, really excited for Blackout. Some people are dissing it already. Some people are like, man, this is pathetic, but Dude, I am just excited for Blackout. I cannot wait. You know, playing Fortnite a little bit, eh, Fortnite's cool, but I can't wait to drop into a Black Ops themed Battle Royale game mode. I think that's going to be absolutely insane. And hopefully they include at least a couple of these maps. If not, it's cool, whatever. I, I trust in Treyarch, but anyways, let's just get right in to the top 10 list. So coming in at number 10, we have Array from Black Ops 1. The reason that I wanna see this map is because it's pretty long range and it's actually a pretty decent sized map. Supposedly in Blackout, there's going to be 140 people. That's, that's the rumor. We don't know if it's true or not. We don't know what's going on, but the rumor is there's going to be 140 people. So if there's going to be that many people, then we're going to need a couple of bigger maps to play around in and not just, you know, kind of like blank grassy areas. So with Array, I chose this map because it's pretty long range. It's a decent sized map. You can get some cool sniper shots and everything and the little terminal in the middle, you know, with the people, you know, you know how it's like a circle. I don't know if you played Black Ops 1, but you know how it's like a circle and there's like multiple floors to it. That circle always pisses me off when I'm in game and I think it would just kind of add to the fun of Blackout. So Array, not really anything special. That's why it's at the number 10 spot. But yeah, that's my number 10 pick, Array from Black Ops 1. Coming in at the number 9 spot, we have Summit from Black Ops 1, and it was also remade in Black Ops 2. The reason I picked this map is because I just love it. It's so much fun. It is so, so good. I love both of the sides. I love the little, like, you know, the little side layouts and everything. I just think it's cool, and the way that they redid it in Black Ops 2 to make it rainy instead of snowy, I think that would just absolutely be pretty cool. I love Summit. I think everyone loves Summit. That's the reason it came back in Black Ops 2. I just think it would be super fun. There's a lot of different ways that you can go when playing that map. And so I think in a Battle Royale game mode, it would be super, super fun. Coming in at number eight. Now this one is going to be pretty special. I don't exactly know how they're gonna do this. I mean, I have one specific area of this map that I want them to at least put in. Uh, I don't know if they could put in necessarily the entire map, but anyways, enough stalling. We are going to be talking about Mob of the Dead. And more specifically, the spot that I really want is the Golden Gate Bridge. I would love them to throw the Golden Gate Bridge onto Battle Royale. Now, yes, it is an extremely open area. There's not a whole lot of cover, but I think that would make it, you know, super fun. You know, you get like a couple people drop in there, maybe 10 people are dropping there and you know, they're picking up their, their chests, they find some weapons and everything, but only one can really make it out of there. Like say one guy gets, I don't know, what, what, what should he get? One guy picks up an AN-94 and he just starts going ham on everyone and he's the only guy left on the Golden Gate Bridge. He has to jump down and then he starts running off into the other areas. I think the Golden Gate Bridge would just be super fun. I think it's a classic, you know, it's definitely a classic. What I love if they put the entire Mob of the Dead map in there, oh yes. Oh, that would be great. Maybe not necessarily even the whole Blood of the Dead map, but just Mob of the Dead in general. I think that would be cool. It is a super big area though, so I'm not 100% sure how that would work out. It would. I feel like it'd be pretty hard to find people on Mob of the Dead. So that's why I more specifically just wanted the Golden Gate Bridge. Coming in at number seven is kind of just another throwaway spot, but I do enjoy this map. And this is going to be Hangar 18 from Black Ops 1. Now I thought when this map came out, it was a really, really cool idea. You know, we're, hang we're, we're fighting it out in a hangar. There's planes everywhere. There's a lot of different high ground places and you know, High ground's pretty important, especially when it came to uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin. You know, Obi-Wan had the high ground, and Anakin just ended up getting dicked. But anyways, there are a lot of different high-rises in uh, Hangar 18, and I think it would just be a really cool setting to play in. You know, there's planes everywhere. That would probably be where you pick up your, you know, your air vehicles that they were saying. So I think Hangar 18 definitely would be a nice fit. Not many people know about it, but I think that would make it fun, you know, seeing it revisited, and people would be like, oh, wow. This actually seems like it was probably a cool map in Black Ops 1 when, when that was the prime ass game. So yeah, Hangar 18 comes in at the number seven spot. Coming in at number six, we have one of my personal favorites and that is going to be Grind from Black Ops 2. Grind was the skate park map in Black Ops 2. Came out in, I believe the first DLC. And man, I love playing this map. I love playing Grind. If you know when you can choose the map selection, if you can choose either Grind or Nuketown, I'm always choosing Grind. I prefer Grind to Nuketown at least in Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2 Nuketown was 
was pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie, but I love Grind. I think it had a really nice layout to it, and I also think that just a skate park is probably one of the coolest themes to a, uh, to a game, basically. I don't believe that was a remake of any map, but now that I'm talking about it, I'm starting to question myself. Um, but anyways, I believe that Grind is original to Black Ops 2, uh, and yeah, that comes in at the number six spot. Coming in at number five, we have Hijacked from Black Ops 2. Hijacked was such a fun map. It's so close quarters. It's so, so, so much fun. And in the picture, we have seen that there are little C parts. So, I mean, they could totally throw Hijacked in there. They could totally throw Hijacked in there. You know, there's little, there's little parts of it. There's little parts of water and everything. Maybe it's on the outside of the map. I would just love to see Hijacked. I think that would be super fun drop into the middle, people are people are fighting up top, you're running underneath the boat, and then you pop up and you just start slaying everyone. Man, ugh, I just love Hijacked. Skyjacked in Black Ops 3 definitely was not as good. So, so no Skyjacked. No, no Skyjacked. I, no Skyjacked, please. Please, no Skyjacked. Hijacked from Black Ops 2, that's what I want to see. That is the number five spot. Coming in at number four, we have another Zombies map, and this I really wanted to include a Zombies map in here, but I wasn't sure because I have so many different favorite Zombies maps. So coming in at number 4, we have Der Eisendrack from Black Ops 3. The reason I chose this map was because, you know, it's got a really, really nice layout to it. It's a fucking castle. It is a castle. You know how cool that would be to fight in a castle? I would, I, I mean, I think that would be super, super cool. There's probably a couple different ways to get into the map, you know, because it's, it's a castle, it's on like a mountain, and you have to go through like the tram and everything to get up to it. I think that would be super cool if they included the tram to get up to Derizen Drag. I, I would, oh my goodness, like, I would probably jizz, because that would be the first time that we could really, you know, use that tram. So, I would just love to see Derizen Drag. I think fighting in a castle would be super cool for a battle royale mode. Also in this, I mean, if you could pick up the bows, that would be pretty badass, you know. I'm dropping into Derizendrock, I found the lightning bow, the lightning bow, the storm bow, I'm about to go off on some people. Probably not gonna happen, they probably won't include the bows, cause I think the, well maybe they would include the regular bow, but I don't think they would include, you know, the elemental bows, that would be kinda crazy. But Derizendrock comes in at the number four spot. Coming in at number three, this one is such a fun map. Everyone loves this map. It is Firing Range from Black Ops 1, and then it was also remade in Black Ops 2. I feel like if any of these maps are remade for another game, they are definitely, definitely good maps. So Firing Range, I think, is fun because it's just a really nice idea. You know, dropping into a Firing Range, or even in Black Ops 2 when it was uh, when it was Studio, that was also pretty cool too. So either way they want to go about doing it, I don't care. I think it's just a fun map. You know, there's the little, um, the little high rise up top where you could camp out. I mean, I feel like that would be pretty garbage, but I mean, people kind of just have to throw a grenade up in there and then you're kind of dead, so... I mean, yeah, you can camp up there, you get the high ground, but, I mean, I don't know, grenades are grenades are pretty deadly. I mean, if they put C4 in this game, oh, you bet your ass I'm going to be using C4. I love my C4 in Black Ops 2. They totally killed it in Black Ops 3 for me. I still use it every now and then in Black Ops 3, but, ooh, the Black Ops 2 C4 was so deadly. So, yeah, firing range comes in at the number three spot. Coming in at number two, now this was a hard decision. This was a very, very hard decision for me to make between the number two and the number one spot. I kind of wanted to flip-flop them, but I feel like if I did and the, you know, the number one spot wasn't what it was, I feel like I'd probably get some flack from people. But anyways, the number two spot is Raid from Black Ops 2. We all love Raid in Black Ops 2. That is such a classic, classic map. And if you notice, I believe in the Blackout trailer, I just saw this today from uh, from Mr. Dalek JD, so shout outs to him. But there are little coordinates in the Blackout trailer and it points to um, Hollywood, on like an actual map. So if you put in the coordinates, it points to Hollywood in you know, Google Maps and everything, and what map is in Hollywood? You bet your ass, it's fucking Raid. So, I mean, I definitely, definitely think Raid is going to be making an appearance in Blackout. Now, what what exactly are they going to do? Are they going to make these maps permanent? Are they going to, you know, take them out and put in some new maps over the course of time? Are they going to release new maps with, with different sub-maps, I guess? I don't know what they're going to be doing, but hopefully if there are fan favorite maps in there, they don't take it out. I feel like that's kind of like what Epic Games is doing with Fortnite, how everyone loves Tilted Towers and they were 
threatening to take Tilted Towers out with a Meteor, and it just didn't happen because everyone loves Tilted Towers. But, you know, I, I'm not sure what they're going to do, but if Raid is in there, I hope Raid is a permanent thing. We all love Raid. It's such a cool concept. It has such perfect flow to it. It was such a good, decent-sized map. There were definitely specific vantage points that you wanted to have, but once you were in those vantage points, oh man, you went off. So, I would love to see Raid make an appearance in Blackout. And now, finally, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you can all predict what this number one spot is. It's definitely, definitely one of the best classics overall in the Black Ops series, and it is, of course, going to be Nuketown from the entire Black Ops series. Now, what version of Nuketown do I want to see? Hell, I want to see the Black Ops 1 Nuketown. I thought that was the most classic looking Nuketown. It was clean looking, you know, it was in the present. The Black Ops 2 Nuketown actually was pretty cool. I just don't think the Black Ops 2 Nuketown had flow to it just because of like the snipers, the shotguns, the target finder, LMGs. I did think it had a very nice aesthetic though. Um, the Black Ops 3 Nuketown uh, with the wall runs and everything. I mean, I guess there's no advanced movement in Black Ops 4. You know, I would just love to see the original Nuketown come down. I mean, I, man, just thinking about it, it gets me so excited. I was playing Fortnite with Smooth and I was like, man, I can't wait for Blackout to come out. I can't wait to say I'm dropping into Nuketown. Man, that's gonna be great. I feel like Nuketown definitely would be the Tilted Towers of Blackout. Everyone just wants to drop there and it would be such a small area that it would be super fun just battling it out with everyone. I just, oof, oof, I just, I just can't wait. I can't wait. I They definitely have to throw Nuketown in there. There's no way that they wouldn't throw Nuketown in there. It is such a classic map at this point. And I mean, hell, it's even been rumored that uh, Black Ops 4 is going to have its own version of Nuketown. There was like a... Uh, Vondahar like tweeted with the dude who like worked on all of the nuke towns and he was like he was like you worked on black ops 1 black ops 2 black ops 3 and dot 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 so I was like ah shit we we gonna be seeing nuke town again so whether it's an actual multiplayer map whether we see it in blackout who knows we're gonna have to wait and see when the game releases but man ah I'm just psyched I would love to see nuke town that would be super fun Anyways, guys, that is my top 10 list for locations that I want to see in Call of Duty Black Ops 4's Blackout. If you have any maps that you guys want to see, post down in the comments below what you would want to see. I kind of just repeated myself there. Post down in the comments what locations you would want them to put in within Blackout. And yeah, let's just start a conversation down there. Anyways, thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Panther, and I will see you guys in the next one. Tell me like a hell cut.